Right then, in this video I'm taking a look at Destination Dispatch Schindler MRL. So then, this is the first time I've done a proper tampering session with a Destination Dispatch. So let's start this video off by taking a ride in it. <laughs> Now, this is a set of six lifts, only one lift goes up to floor 10, the secret level, but it's not locked off. So up to floor 10 I go, and since someone comes up here, what a good floor to tumble about with the logic. And it's actually destination dispatch to call the lift on this floor, even though there's actually only one lift up here. So open up the logic cabinet and shove it onto engineer mode. What does it say? I'm a destination dispatch. So, what happens when I try to press a floor to destination dispatch? XX no lift is available. So then let's press some buttons on the menu and see what settings we can get into. Right then, car trips, 535,639, wow, and run hours, 2,391, it's amazing how she shows this sort of information. Right then, system, oh that's only dating time, that's boring. Delay cab light, currently at 30 seconds, now nah, let's reduce this time, let's reduce it to 1 second. So if some stupid idiot gets in the lift without choosing their floor beforehand, they get put into darkness. Updating. Success. Where else is that? Oh, hold door open. Shit, can we change the door timer? At least we get into all the settings here. I'd like that lot of lifts. So then, we turned some fuses off and on, and the lift kind of fucked up at this point, and it kept saying it was overloaded. Oh my god. <laughs> This is over I just see what doing that again. Can you see it like so? Right, this lift started being very weird, but luckily, since we are unauthorised lift engineers, we managed to get it fixed. So then, let's turn off all of the fuses and reboot the lift. Look what it says on the destination dispatch. No idea what that means. Everything's back on. So then, this lift goes 1.6 meters a second, and this lift does not have a chassis. I mean, everything else about this is really good, but the lift car's just a bit flimsy, really. Why can't I build these things better? Oh, well, it's one day for you. Nothing even like, as good and built by a proper lift company isn't really that well built compared to how things used to be, really. And that motor is overhanging a lot. It's all attached to the side. When the lift stops, it wobbles. It looks like it's going to fall down onto my head. Not that well designed, but it's a nice big chunky motor, which is nice. Unlike Otis Gen 2 motor, which is shit and tiny. So then, let's now go full speed. Door closing. Door 
seven, door opening, door closing, Thank you.